Vachangra and Seku, Quetes, Rubia Birabu, Macharamba, Tatina, Nababa, and Guanabita Silva. About which number two, Vakudang, Raos, Wabu, Lukunda Mugera, the Mugera, Nana Changra, Makas. It's my Wabu, which tattoo, but not my groom, my enemy. Mukundo come figgy, and no come figgy, no got angry, magazines. So, in a way, in the Cassangwage war between Europe and Sakawa, Saka, wow, still will come out, put it later, or put up with them. They will musha maybe. I think it's a great loss. It's a great loss to Zimbabwe, uh, not only in the sense of uh, his political role, but also in the sense of uh, just, just at the humanistic level. I think the one major message that we are drawing from uh, this event is how, in fact, artificial politics is. And that beneath the, the superficies of politics, there is that underlying bond which connects us one unto, unto, unto the rest as, as, as Zimbabweans. And that is what is primary in terms of establishing and underpinning stability in the country. I've always argued each time I write, and this is a point that I acknowledged even against my membership to ZANU-PF, that uh, the one thing you will never take away from the MDC is that it nudged ZANPF away from its uh, wartime centralized philosophy of running an organization in the country to one which recognizes that the primary right that uh, a society enjoys is an individual right. So that was a critical input which our MDC introduced into Zimbabwean politics. And no one cannot, um, we, you can't fail to acknowledge, acknowledge that, uh, that contribution. Except this is exactly how nations evolve. There are those who f fight for the independence, right? In other words, who struggle for independence. They bring a nation to a certain stage. Then there are others who bring in a different input by way of democratizing that, uh, pro that uh, liberation project. And you should not see that as alien. It is in fact a part of uh, the repertoire of uh, values that are uh, enabling people to move forward. Morgan Shangirai is going down as one of the great heroes of the second liberation of Africa. I've known Morgan since 1993 when I came here uh, as an expert hired by the United States International Republican Institute to train political parties and human rights organizations in Zimbabwe about then forthcoming first multi-party elections in Zimbabwe. And from that time on, we have had a very um, close relationship. Um, and going through that period until eventually came into politics and they formed the MDC. So uh, we have been comparing notes of Kenya and, Kenya and Zimbabwe. As you know that Kenya and Zimbabwe are like twin sisters when it comes to democratization process. Um, we have gone through trying periods of uh, what you can call the hijack democracy. democracy. We, we still are having problems with electoral justice. In these countries. But what we are seeing after the early 90s when uh, the, the military dictatorships and single party rule uh, came down after the Berlin Wall collapse, we have seen an em emergence of what we call electoral autocracy uh, or, or electoral um, the dictatorship where the ruling party what's called the ancient regime, uh, want to cling to power irrespective of what the people have said. The elections are held almost as rituals which the ruling party must win at all costs. First, it, it begins with the capture of the state machinery. They capture the electoral commission, they capture the judiciary, they capture parliament and then they muzzle the media press. So with that now armed, they will call elections, but the ruling party must win them. So there's massive rigging, because the electoral commission is not independent. They'll manipulate figures in 
favor of the ruling party. Then they will, you'll be told, go to the court. The courts themselves are not independent. The courts will basically rubber stamp what has come from the election commission. Then you are told that you have lost in, 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 in elections, you have lost in court, you are not a Democrat if you are complaining. And then they will go to parliament and parliament they also have a rigged majority. So what they call tyranny of numbers. So there again you don't have a voice. This is what must come to an end in Africa. This is what must not be allowed to happen. He's the founder of this uh, struggle. Uh, he's the creator of this struggle. He was the first person to look the beast in the eye when no one dared to challenge uh, ZANU PF. So we've lost the mountain, we've lost the colossus, we've lost the hero, we've lost the father. And I don't know how we're going to move forward, but certainly we have to move to protect his leaders. Uh, he was a father to me, uh, with an excellent relationship. He was a father to me.